Hello people and welcome to the Stanley Parable. I'm not sure which screen you're looking at. The phone's ringing. You can't answer it. Um, interesting menu. As in, you can see by this screen. Oh look, if I, the screen is on. Oh no, no, no. I'm I'm going inceptiony. So look, all of the arrows are on all of the screens. Jeez. Yeah, so you got like this weird effect where all of your monitors are redisplayed and redisplayed and redisplayed. Anyway, let's get into it. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is loading now. <laughs> you have to check the word loading in there, obviously. Because that's what it says loading. Now, I've played this game for probably an hour or two, and there are yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to go through maybe some of them. I'm going to do something different, actually. I'm this just is the story of go. a man named Stanley. Grace and driver. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Remember that, 427. 427's job 427. I think you probably all know this anyway. He presses and buttons and stuff. Right, so he's in here. And, yeah. So this is the Stanley Parable. This is his keyboard where he clicks things. This is his pencil sharpener where he sharpens things. This is his mug where he coffee stains things. Um, All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, everyone's what gone. What could it mean? Stanley Oop. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, I haven't been to the meeting room yet. Actually, let's do that. So this is... Everyone's gone. I think one of these computers is still turned on. Power saving! There we go. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any <sighs> way. This guy, he's just... cocky. I hate Mondays! Yep, everyone does. Right, here we go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right, so that's the right door, that's the left door, obviously. If you go down that one, well, you get a different story. You, know, you see all in these offices, but you can't go in them. None of these are open. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling nope. a wave of disbelief. Tips for not getting fired, talk left. To his and believe the amazing at work and don't get fired. An Work harder, hard worker. What? Size of demograph, teenagers. Space between teenagers. What? And it's worth second bit, apparently. You might be able to hear the wind outside my window. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Yeah, probably. Get the broom closet, that's a good ending. Right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I'll walk up. I'll, I'll do everything that he says for the minute. Whoa. Oh, we can't get in the exclusive bathroom. That's a shame. I thought that was going to be on. Right, they're locked. Some lovely stuff. Wow! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, the camera up unraveled, there. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known Wine? was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. What on earth? Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened <laughs> passageway. Wow. It's different. Um... Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, I haven't seen this before. Press boot on. Oh dear me, we're in a lift. We are in a lift. Lift we are in. Right, I'm gonna take a drink while it's loading. Drink succeeded. Right. I haven't done this bit Descending before. Yeah. Deeper into the building, mm. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred Whoa. to him? Uh, this question would not go unanswered for long. Oh dear me. Okay. I generally haven't done Stanley this ending. Oh ahead my god, the mind door, control. The red mind control facility. Or escape. Mind control. I'm going to go for what it's saying at the moment, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, this is dark and huge by the looks of it. The lights rose go. in an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? They're playing Stanley Battlefield. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh, they're playing Battlefield, obviously. This is a massive Battlefield, like one of those 3D rooms where they, they play Battlefield. Now the oh my god! Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the Shit, building. Missed. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Around here somewhere. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay. I missed which one said 427. Ah. 4, 4, 4, 4. 4, 2, 7. There it is. Hey, this is his office. <laughs> Look at that. You can just about see it. It's his office. Oh, that's going to do something bad. This control mm -hmm. facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions Fired. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Interesting. No. He refused to believe it. Oh, it's he an couldn't accept it. Employee 300. In someone else's Employee control? pirate. Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? The Had he truly hell? spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? What on earth is this? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Minecraft. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I would? I was going to dismantle them? What am I going to... How am I going to dismantle them? Buttons. What could possibly go wrong? Whoa, this is... You know, what could go wrong? Oh, what's that big button up there? Two! One. Huh. There's just buttons everywhere. I hope this is the right direction. This button says four. This game is just, yeah, ultra destroy your mind. I know it's where's number three. The door over there I could probably go through, but you know, five. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Where's three? 
I didn't see f what the earth. Where were they? There's more up there. Oh my god. Let's just go with the story. This looks rather empty and blank. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to press to put on. an end to this horrible place oh, and okay. to everything it stood for. Yeah, but if I do that, it kills me. Oh, stand me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? No. Nope. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you no. you tried oh, to take shit, control of the button. machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Did I? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that break machine it. can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Excellent. That this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's oh, your yeah. story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere hmm. moments until the bomb goes off. But what oh. precious moment oh. each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? Okay. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. What? I turned off the machine. I set you free. What? Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Run. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons Run. endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I had to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control no, 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 no. rested away from you, it's quite rich. Press button to see it go. But I'm sure whatever oh, I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Shoot. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some mm. extra time on the clock. Oh. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it on? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen Free. to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea free. what your free. purpose in this place they is? They all say free! <laughs> Stanley. Where is button number three? Disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. One, two, that four. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing Great. instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless to see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, Fortis. No! Clock standard. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another no. choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will well, be we're dead. at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we we're fade boned. in until the moment I say happily ever up. Well. 
I think I died. Yeah, just a little bit. I think I may have died. Oh look, and we're back to the beginning. So that's what happens every time. You just get reset back to the beginning. So, um, that was the Stanley parable. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome um, fell under his responsibility? Yeah. He it's about a billion, billion that. endings. No. Different ones. Every this choice you get choice. This couldn't go except badly. So, that was Stanley now, parable. Stanley to himself, if this guy would shut up. Right, nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. <laughs> But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, Apparently. Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Well, there you go. That's another ending. Um, so that was the Stanley Parable. Uh, yeah. I could do a lot with this, but yeah, it depends. So, um, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. It's really just a massive spoiler, actually. Jeez, sorry. Um, yeah. So, till next time. Goodbye.